Thank you so much for coming back to my returning subscribers. I'm so grateful for each of you and I pray for all the best for you. And to, if you're new here, welcome. On this channel, we concentrate on our theme is wholesomeness and wholesome living, but we tend to talk about health stuff, lifestyle stuff, faith stuff, and all around good stuff. So if that's your kind of cup of Tea. See what I did there? <laughs> if that's your cup of tea, please join me. Join us. I promise we are good company. So, in this video, I wanted to talk about my experience with um, how the, the Polish system really shocked me. And I, I think I'm going to do a series, it's going to be like a series of videos, but in this, to, to keep it short, I'm going to do one, uh, each video, so I'm going to have three videos in a series, so each video is going to have a different topic, and in this particular video, we're going to be looking at how, like, the school system shocked me. For those of you who don't know, I am I'm in Poland, Dublin, studying, I'm doing a Masters in International Relations and of course as, as, as it's expected from coming to a new place some things have shocked me some things are the same but I must say that the thing I've enjoyed most so far about being in Poland is school I feel like school is that one thing that hasn't changed much it's not new so yeah, but of course it's not completely new, but there are some things about it that are different. And that's what you're talking about in this video. So um why why there there are a few things. But I think the first biggest thing that shocked me was how recently we were getting ready for exams. So I'm <laughs> teacher. First of all they i'm used to being told that like, they tell me the, that the timetable comes out once the timetable comes out that is it like you cannot protest you cannot say all oh, this time doesn't work for me no. once the timetable is out it's out but here um you actually like have a conversation with the lecturer and you talk about the time and you're like oh this time is not going to work for me can we do it at this time because there's some lecturers even do it online i don't know if you want Anyway, so, and also, the whole thing of oral exams, it's actually taken seriously here. Some lecturers will not give you a written, they'll be like, we're doing oral, so, if you don't have your theories here, I really don't know, like, it, it can be tough. So, that's definitely uh, something that is challenging me, and we all know how much I love challenges. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So the whole thing of truth picking a date, they just give you a range of time. They say exam period is from this to this, and then they tell you to choose a day that all the whole class should choose a day that works for you. And then you, then the teacher is like, oh, okay, so we shall do on that day and that time, so that you don't have anything to say of um this happened, this happened. Like it, the whole thing is at your on your terms. So I think it has it's 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 refreshing to have something done on my terms perhaps so i like that so i, I definitely have a sense it's like something it's like a democratic thing perhaps 
and we shall see how it goes i will tell you but so far i like it i like it another thing is what else do i want to say okay. exam period oh <laughs> i almost forgot this one uh so uh, one of my teachers was like oh yeah the exam is we agreed on the day and we had to carry our own papers to class like for exams which is like come with your own papers otherwise you write on your hands <laughs> which was funny i found it funny and it's very interesting that we are supposed to come with our own papers like for exams it's very interesting and also i also found out that here of course for for like a citizen um education is free like uni is free that shocked me you know back home it's not university is not maybe maybe the the primary primary and then in some cases some secondary schools are free but not university it's different and interesting and refreshing perhaps that and but though i had that in some other countries in europe it, it's also free to nine nine nationals so it's it's interesting that education is free everybody something used to sing in school Come and see the use of education. Yeah, so education is very useful. So I think it's some one one of those things that if you make it free, it can really change people's lives. So I see I see how important it is anyway for for the education level and um the development of a society. They, they, they go hand in hand. Okay, enough of this talk. <laughs> that is what my video was about. I just wanted to come on here and do like a short haul of um, I went uh, beauty, beauty stuff shopping, shopping for beauty stuff. I don't know how to say it, but I went with a friend of mine to a place called Action. I never been there before. It was a bit far from where I was. But I took about a 30 minutes bus, but I feel like it was worth it. So the first thing is rubber bands. Yeah, we got some rubber bands for holding my hair as I work. Cause I, I like to work when I'm washing my hair, I like to work in sections. So this is a good a good thing. As I look for the actual dark clips, I think they're dark clips. And then I got this, this, this um, hair mask. We shall see how it goes. This hair mask deeply nourishing. This is it. We shall see if it's it. And then along with that, I got a uh, result conditioner, which is I tried to get like two from the same brand and see how they work together. They, there was no shampoo, so we shall see what they can do about the shampoos. I want to see how it, they work together or if I can mix and match and see how it goes. Then I also got this shampoo. Um, gotta love car gotta love nature. Yeah, coconut shampoo. Funny enough, my hair doesn't really like coconut oil, but let's see how it will respond to the coconut shampoo. Then cotton pads for wiping the face you know then i got this interesting spray we shall see how that goes it smells good though you know the sprays that that smell that have like a very sophisticated scent and yet are ridiculously cheap yeah that was it and then i also got some almond oil i like to mix my own my own hair oil so i'm looking into almond oil and hula. Usually I use only olive oil and castor oil, but this time I want to mix olive, um, castor, jojoba, and almond. And see, I don't usually use use essential oils because they really bother my scalp. But I guess I need to look for like the kind ones. 
that's my pet maybe I hope I mentioned the time I used to have my cousin so bad, I think maybe I might have overdone it and my scalp became sensitive and I had to, then I had to stop. But when I stopped, then everything became okay. So maybe I should not reintroduce really them. We'll see. Then I also got this nail cutter. You know, some of these things you can think they're obvious. And you come and you don't have them. And then in a different state. But finally, I have a nail cutter. And then I got a face cream. In my previous video, I was talking about how I love simple, simple products, but I have failed to find them here. So I try to get the, the, I try to look for like a natural, plant-based, natural, I say natural before, so I try to look for like a plant-based product, because one thing that I, I appreciate plant-based is in, cosmetic things they are plant best things are nice but um yeah they're nice in cosmetic things not, not in not in food only like i okay i guess my my um what i'm trying to say is my skincare is plant-based so i'm a vegan in, in the plant things <laughs> what I'm a vegan in skincare, so it's like vegan skincare, if it's even a thing. Anyway, yeah, so I got this. It has um, nat it's natural. They say it's 99% natural ingredients. Uh, it has organic shea butter. My skin loves shea butter. It has argan oil and it has avocado oil. And 99% of the things are organic. We shall see 99.6 to be exact of natural origin. And it does not, the ingredients are aqua, decap, real carbonate, glyce. When I saw glyceryl steroid, I was happy because this weather, this weather needs glyceryl. Oh, this weather. So they're not for drying. This weather needs glyceryl. Uh, let's try to open it and see. see. Let's just open it. about how many grams is this 50 ml 30 grams it's 50 ml aromacology it does not have a very strong scent it's actually quite natural I, so things on the first i even try to go as perfume free as possible so that's it guys that's the end of the video i will let you know how if you want to know okay if you want to know how <laughs> how these things work for me what i'm thinking if you want a review find me to do a review on some of these things then just let me know other than that i wish you a good week and i will see you when i see you <laughs> bye until next time i wish you a good week and until next time goodbye So I forgot about I forgot to tell you guys about the masks. I've been thinking about okay, I'm a big DIYer, so I do a lot of DIYs, but I wanna also try the things that have been made in labs, <laughs> which is probably not a great thing, but I mean some some of these science things have some of these products are actually good, so you can't you can't just um make it them like that. Just give them a go and see what happens. So the first one I, the first one I'm showing you is this. It's like a jelly, a jelly pre-treated face mask, moisturizing. In this dry winter weather, you need you need something moisturizing. Then another jelly one, refreshing. Yeah. And then this is a clay. I got a clay one. Clay masks are usually purifying. Yeah, clay and hibiscus. You see how that goes. Um, then this one because I just love nuts. So, uh, uh, a mask of almond oil should be a good idea. Apparently, it's hydrating. So, I got four of them to cover the four weeks of a month. We shall see how that goes. So, I got four of them. Let's have a look. I'm so excited. This is my girly era. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, I'm trying to. I am 
being more womanly and giving girly vibes, not just being someone who doesn't do girly things. But we are trying, we are really trying in this place. That's what I'm doing. So, oh, let me know how the, my mask experience goes. I forgot about this part. 